RAY 75 The Karma 3L3233 of matter itself is an abstruse subject and has as yet scarcely been hinted at. It is nevertheless indissolubly mixed up with the karma of the individual. It involves a control of the evolution of the monadic essence, the elemental essence and of the atomic matter of the plane, it is concerned with the development of the force virili, with their activity, with their attachment to forms when atomic, and with the development of the inner latent heat and its gradual fiery increase until we have within the atom a repetition of what is seen within the causal body, the destruction of the periphery of the atom by the means of burning. It deals with the subject of the building of matter into form by the interaction of the two rays, the divine and the primordial, producing thereby that fire by friction which tends to life and fusing. The karma of form is likewise a vast subject, too. 31 inches from the view taken of karma as I have done it, you will see that no plane of the highest spirituality, be that the plane of the Nirvanis, is outside the karmic wheel and when it is said in the Sanskrit writings and even in the Bhagavad Gita that men cross the karmic ocean, it must be understood with some allowance. The entities that have now succeeded in going outside the karmic wheel, have done so, only if that wheel be taken as the one that turns now. The cosmos is not going in one groove all the days of Brahma, but it is going on a higher and higher status as it fulfills its mission. Those who have attained unto a rest in a state of spirituality not reachable now, will therefore in a future day come within the action of the wheel, with perhaps a punishment for the great duties neglected for long ages. Some thoughts on the Gita, P. 40. 32 The Lipika are the spirits of the universe. They are connected with the law of cause and effect karma and its recorders. Lipika comes from Lippi, writing. For information concerning the Lipika Lords CS. D. I. P. P. 152. 153. The Buddhas of activity, are the triad who stands closest to Sanat Kumara, the Lord of the World. They are the planetary correspondences to the three aspects of the Logoic third aspect and are concerned with the force behind planetary manifestation. Monadic essence, the matter of the atomic, are highest subplane of each plane. Elemental essence, the matter of the six subplanes which are non-atomic. It is molecular matter. 33 Karma may be defined to be the force generated by a human center to act on the exterior world, and the reactionary influence that is in turn generated from the exterior world to act on him may be called karmic influence and the visible result that is produced by this influence under proper conditions may be called karmic. Proof. Some thoughts on the Gita, P. 53. 76 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E Involved for average comprehension but a factor of real importance which should not be overlooked in connection with the evolution of a world, a synthesis of worlds, or of a system when viewed from higher levels. Everything is, in its totality, the result of action taken by cosmic essences and entities in earlier solar systems, which is working out through the individual atoms, and through those conjuries of atoms which we call forms. The effect of the personality ray upon the internal fires is therefore, in effect, 
the result of the influence of the planetary logos of whatever ray is implicated, as he works out that portion of karma which falls to his share in any one cycle, greater or lesser. He thus brings about and eventually transmutes the effects of causes which he set in motion earlier in relation to his six brothers, the other planetary logoi. We get an illustrative parallel in the effect which one individual will have upon another in worldly contact, in molding and influencing, in stimulating or retarding. We have to remember that all fundamental influence and effects are felt on the astral. Plain and work bends through the etheric to the dense physical thereby bringing matter under its sphere of influence, yet not itself originating on the physical plane. Section 1. Division C. THE THE RICBOVYANDPRANA 34. I. The nature of the etheric body. 1. Its purpose and description. 2. Eight statements. 11. The nature of prana. 1. Solar prana. 2. Planetary prana. 3. The prana of forms. 111. The function of the etheric body. 1. It is the receiver of prana. 2. It is the assimilator of prana. 3. It is the transmitter of prana. 4. Disorders of the etheric body. IV. Macrocosmic and microcosmic ethers. 1. The planetary logos and the ethers. 2. Cosmic and systemic ethers. 3. Protective purpose of etheric body. D. Death in the etheric body. 1. Microcosmic death. 2. Macrocosmic prolia. I. The N-A-T-U-R-E-O-F-T-H-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-B-O-V-Y In our consideration of the internal fires of the system we shall find much of very real interest to the coming 34 inches prana, or the vital principle, is the special relation of the atma with a certain form of matter which by the relation of atma organizes and builds up as a means of having experience. This special relation constitutes the individual prana in the individual body. The cosmic all-pervading prana is not prana in the gross sense but as a name for the Brahman is the author of the individual prana. All beings, whether devadas, men or animals, exist only so long as the prana is within the body. It is the life duration of all. Prana, or vitality, is the common function of the mind and all the senses. Serpent Power, pp. 94, 95. 77. 78 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. Generation of thinkers for three main reasons, which might be enumerated as follows. 1. Its purpose and description. First. In the study of the etheric body lies it, for scientists and those of the medical profession, a fuller comprehension of the laws of matter and the laws of health. The word health has become too localized in the past, and its meaning confined to the sanity of the body corporeal, to the cooperative action of the atoms of the physical body of man, and to the full expression of the powers of the physical elemental. In days to come it will be realized that the health of man is dependent upon the health of all allied evolution, and upon the cooperative action and full expression of the matter of the planet and of the planetary elemental who is himself a composite manifestation of the physical elementals of all manifested nature. Second. 
In the study of the etheric body and prana lies the revelation of the effects of those rays of the sun which, for lack of better expression, we will call solar pranic emanation. These solar pranic emanations are the produced effect of the central heat of the sun approaching other bodies within the solar system by one of the three main channels of contact and producing on the bodies then contacted certain effects differing somewhat from those produced by the other emanations. These effects might be considered as definitely stimulating and constructive, and through their essential quality, as producing conditions that further the growth of cellular matter, and concern its adjustment to environing conditions, they concern likewise the internal health demonstrating that the heat of the atom and its consequent activity and the uniform evolution of the form of which that particular atom of matter forms a constituent part. Emanated prana is little in connection with serves the form through the preservation of the health of its component parts. Other rays of the sun act differently, upon the forms and upon their substance. Some perform the work of the destroyer of forms, and others carry on the work of cohering and of attracting the work of the destroyer and of the preserver is carried on under the law of attraction and repulsion. Some rays definitely produce accelerated motion, others produce retardation. The ones we are dealing with here pranic solar emanations work within the solar ether. That matter which though physical is not as yet objectively visible to the eye of man. They are the basis of all physical plane life considered solely in connection with the life of the physical plane atoms of matter, their inherent heat and their rotary motion. These emanations are the basis of that, fire by friction, which demonstrates in the activity of matter. Finally, in the study of the etheric body and prana comes comprehension of the method of the world manifestation, and therefore much of interest to the metaphysician and all abstract thinkers. The etheric body of man holds the, the secret of his objectivity. It has its correspondence on the archetypal plane, the plane we call that of the divine manifestation, the first plane of our solar system, the plane Adi. The matter of that highest plane is called often the 